Hi, so uh, this video is about how to do an alternative G chord because sometimes moving from the G, especially to G minor, can be tricky. G to E minor can be tricky. Um, for beginners, um, I still think I'm a beginner, beginners G even to G7 can sometimes be a bit fiddly. So uh, this is uh, my suggestion for it and it's the way I play the G. So normally the G in the books and in lots of tutorials, you'll find first finger is on the top, your middle finger comes underneath on the bottom string and um, your third finger is in position there on your third fret. So that one to then to get to G minor, tricky. I know I'm making it look easy, it's um, a bit more uh, used to it. So G to E minor, everything has to be replaced. And then the G to the G7, again, everything lifts off and gets replaced. So here's my suggestion. Start with your first finger, and we're going to put that on the bottom string. So these, it's just, all it is, is these two fingers will be played the opposite way around. Same position, obviously, but you're going to play them the opposite way around. So first finger, middle finger is now on top, and your third finger is in the same position. So are you ready for the tricky one for the G to G minor? Are you ready? G, G minor, one finger. How? How simple is that? Isn't that nice? G, G minor. Okay, so then this is the alternative G. And we're going to go G, E minor. Now, I know the E minors and the B7s are historically not that nice to try and learn or get into, but they are doable. And it's slightly easier when you've got G, and then you keep this first finger locked down, and you only need to then get learn to do two fingers into position. There you go. So it's G, G minor, oh, E minor, sorry, <laughs> G, E minor. And now the G, the alternative G, my G, um, into G7 is lock this finger down. So you keep that down as a little anchor and you pivot everything else around to G7. And there we go. It all comes with practice. You know, I'm not saying go, you know, watch this video and then that's it, go and do it. You might be able to do it. Um, okay, but um, there's my alternative gin. So if you've got any more questions about the ukulele, Stephanie at theukulelecoach.com. Subscribe, follow, like for more videos. Uh, and we're on Facebook, or you can come and join my live sessions um, twice a month. Okay, but this is Stoke-on-Trent, so if you're over in America, it's not going to work. Uh, it's very expensive. All right, so see you in the next video. Bye-bye.